try to find your breath right now. When you breathe in, where do you feel it? Does it feel refreshing? If it does, keep it up that way. If it doesn't feel refreshing, you can change. Sometimes you breathe in the chest, sometimes you breathe in the abdomen. Ask yourself, which would be most comfortable right now? Which would be most refreshing right now? Because the mind needs refreshment. It's constantly bombarded by sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. Both the things we like and the things we don't like, both of them are a kind of bombardment. We have to deal with all kinds of incoming information all the time, and when there's something we like, the mind tends to rise up, and when something we don't like, the mind tends to shrink back. And that leaves it worn out. We've got to find a place where the mind can know these things and not be affected by them. Because the mind is not just on the receiving end, it's also on the side that's dishing out. We're the ones making decisions about what to do. And if you have to be making a decision about what to do when the mind is rising up or falling down like that, you can't be sure that it's going to be a reliable decision. We've been trained, especially here in the West, to be consumers. That we want this, we want to gain that, we want to gain this. We don't think about the, so much the impact of our actions. We think more than just, I want to get this pleasure, I want to get that pleasure. Think of ourselves as the consumers. Maybe we tend to forget that the way we consume is having a huge impact on other people. And this doesn't refer just to material things, but the way we consume our relationships, the way we consume our emotional needs, and try to get some something out of other people. In all this, we tend not to look at what we're doing and how what we're doing is having an impact on the situation around us and our own minds. So this is one of the reasons why we meditate, is to stop and realize, okay, it's not just stuff coming in, it's also the decisions going out. And the decisions going out are much more important. But it also relates to, if you're going to make a good decision, you have to be very careful about how you react to the things coming in. That's why the mind needs a good, solid center right here. It's like a gyroscope. When ship goes out into the ocean, the waves batter it, and the winds blow around. But as long as it's got a gyroscope, okay, it's going to maintain its balance. It's not going to get tipped over by these things. So when you find a good, comfortable place inside with a breath and you can maintain that, that's like having a gyroscope. Keeps you upright, keeps your actions upright. So not only the world that you're consuming, but also the world that you're producing, these things come out and have much less of an impact on the mind, especially much less of a bad impact on the mind. You can actually have a positive impact. So it all comes down to trying to make the mind as steady as possible. The steadier it is, the more you can rely on it to see things for what they are and to make the right decisions. So try to maintain this steadiness regardless of how strong the winds of the world are, because the winds of change can come from all kinds of directions. There's gain and then there's loss. There's status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These buffet us from all sides. But as long as you've got a good gyroscope inside, okay, you can maintain your balance. Your sense of right and wrong doesn't get toppled over. And the life you create is going to be a much better life.